guys so before I get into this video I did want to hop on here really quick and let you know that um, I did miscarry this pregnancy um, at 12 weeks and I thought really hard about deleting all of this footage but in the end I decided that it was still relevant and it was still interesting and I did still want to share this part of my story with you guys. Um, I just wanted to, to preface the start of this with that. Um, I think also to protect my heart so I, I don't get the, you know, congratulations comments because I, I think that would just tear me apart. I hope that you still enjoy. If you want to know um, more about my miscarriage, I will link my miscarriage video in the comment section or the, the description box so you can go and watch that for more information on that. But yeah, let's get into the content of the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pregnancy related video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Melissa. I currently have a 15 month old son and I am pregnant with twins, you guys. Wait, 15 month old? No, today's the third. He's 16 months old. Aw, he's getting so big. So today, January 3rd, I am seven weeks along. I will not be actually posting this video until much later after we have like formally announced to everybody, but I wanted to film this video and I want to film these videos as frequently as I can. This will probably be my last pregnancy, so I really, really want to document it all and talk to you guys about it and just have the memories to look back on to either help you, help me, you know, whatever. It's kind of like an online scrapbook for me. I'm pregnant with twins, you guys, and my husband and I just found out a few days ago. We haven't like told anybody yet and Ah, uh, it's a lot. It's exciting, but it's so scary and there's so many emotions and I think we're still in the process of trying to process it all and just like, wow, we're going to have three babies under two years old. That's a lot. It's <laughs> a lot of work. I need to start banking sleep now. In this video, I wanted to tell you guys what my week four, week five, and week six week six pregnancy symptoms are. A lot of people at this point in time don't even know that they're pregnant unless you are tracking your ovulation, tracking your cycles, trying for pregnancy, trying to conceive and like avidly taking tests. You likely uh, may or may not have taken a test already, but I was avidly tracking my cycle. We were trying to conceive and so I know exactly how far along I am. And I have been writing down every single symptom for every single week so far. And I plan to continue this throughout my pregnancy or as much as I can to share with you guys. Now keep in mind, I'm pregnant with twins. Um, so my symptoms might be a little bit different than yours or maybe they're the same, maybe you're pregnant with twins. Um, so don't let these symptoms scare you, you know, or excite you either way, because everybody in every pregnancy is totally different, but this is just what my symptoms have been so far with my pregnancy. I will also note that I did make a two week wait symptom video that I will link down below for you guys, where you can kind of look back and see, um, everything that I experienced before I got my positive pregnancy test. So check that out if you're curious. Okay, so week four, I experienced a lot of the same symptoms that I had during my two week wait. So two week wait, by the way, is the time between when you ovulate and when you would have missed your period. So week four, kind of a lot of the symptoms spilled into week four. So I wrote down sore and heavy boobs and itchy nipples. The itchy nipple things really threw me off a little bit because I didn't experience that with my son, but it was definitely very apparent in week four. I also wrote down mild period like achy uterus. So it wasn't like cramping and it wasn't like heavy. It was just kind of like achy. Like I was hyper aware of the fact that my uterus was there and that it was feeling something. I also experienced a little bit of belly button pain in week four. Now with my pregnancy with my son, I did not experience belly button pain until much later in my pregnancy, like month six. And I was told by my my midwife that that was when my abs were like separating and that's what the belly button pain was. I truly do not think that that was the cause of the pain at week four, but it is something that I noticed and the feeling, the sensation was very similar to what it was when I was pregnant with my son. So 
something weird. I'm not sure what it was, but I wrote it down. Short on breath, which I do remember. I was very short on breath when I was pregnant with my son. I think that's a hormone thing because it's definitely not like a space issue yet. <laughs> really, really thirsty, very hard time sleeping, waking up for hours at a time at night. I remember there was a couple of nights where I was awake for like three, four, even five hours straight and I just could not get back to sleep in the middle of the night. Week five, I wrote down sore and heavy boobs. That's just kind of a thing. <laughs> And I have a feeling it's just going to be a thing at least through the end of the first trimester. Nausea. And I also wrote down this started a little bit in week four. Um, it started probably about halfway through week four. So I'm not sure why I didn't write it on week four. But my morning sickness, my nausea, my food aversions, my smell aversions started very, very early this pregnancy. A lot of that is because I am having twins. So I have, you know, double the hormones that a singleton pregnancy has or pretty close to double the hormones. And so my nausea started really, really early this pregnancy. I wrote down smell aversions, raw chicken, meatballs, flour deodorant. I have a specific deodorant that I cannot use currently because the smell just completely turns me off. I know with my son, my smell aversions were mainly towards food, meats in general, cooking bacon, all of that just... Ooh, I had to be a vegetarian for a while with my son. With this pregnancy, it's the same thing but also non-food things. So like the flower deodorant, I remember specifically like a hand sanitizer, that smell of alcohol just made me throw up, uh, wanna throw up. And so it's been just any strong scent in general has really just like turned my stomach. I had a few random pimples and acne and I still have a couple like right here. I'm not somebody who typically gets acne. I just, I'm just not. And so when those little pimples sprouted up, I was like, oof that is pregnancy related, I know it. So five weeks, two days, I wrote down pink spotting. Now this is something that I get scared talking about it because it is really scary to me. Um, I'm currently seven weeks today and I am still spotting. In fact, that is what led me to the doctor early, so earlier than I was supposed to and that is how I found out I was having twins earlier than I other typically, otherwise typically would have. Um, I had spotting with Lincoln as well with my son, but it only lasted one day. With this pregnancy, the spotting has continued for almost two weeks and for who knows how long. We haven't figured out why. Um, a lot of it is the fact that I am having twins. And so with twin pregnancies, I've been told that spotting and light bleeding is a lot more common for various reasons. Uh, we don't know the cause for mine yet um but we will we'll figure it out but with this it started at five weeks two days and it has continued on to now seven weeks i wrote down mild cramping and headaches i have noticed that i've been getting a lot of headaches with this pregnancy with my son i didn't get any headaches at all which really stood out to me because prior to being pregnant with my son i got headaches all the time I think it might have been birth control related, I'm not too sure, but the fact that I wasn't getting headaches was really standing out in my mind. So now with this pregnancy, I'm like, uh, I was hoping it would be similar where I wouldn't have headaches again, but I, I'm getting them. Week six, which for me would have just been last week, I wrote down brown and pink spotting, which we already talked about. I had my first doctor's appointment at six weeks, one day. So that's when I went in for my first doctor's appointment to see what was going on with the spotting. And I had my first ultrasound and I got to see, at that point it was just one baby and an empty sack, but that's a story for another video. I wrote down headaches, nausea, and smell aversions. I actually threw up. Um, I threw up like three or four times in one day. With my son, I had never thrown up. I didn't have, I was nauseous, but I never actually threw up. With this pregnancy, I did actually throw up. I wrote down mild cramping, feeling cold and shivery and trouble sleeping. So yeah, those are my week four, week five and week six pregnancy symptoms. I hope that you guys found this video kind of sort of interesting. I cannot guarantee I will film one of these or post one of these every three weeks, but I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you did. I would love it if you stuck around because I will be doing a ton more ton more baby related videos, twin related videos, mommy videos, I'm stay at home mom. So I hope you guys stick around and I'll talk to you next time.